if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 3 of the My Player series here on FIFA 16 and I have to start this one by saying uh, a sorry to you guys. I genuinely thought yesterday when I was substituted off the pitch late on in the uh, in the first game that that was a new feature in FIFA 16 My Player because in my experience, in the two My Player series I've done previously, throughout the entirety of FIFA 15, and for the majority of FIFA 14, over 300 episodes worth of a My Player series, I've never ever been substituted off the pitch. However, those of you in the comment section, and there were loads of you, uh, saying that uh, actually you have been taken off and substituted from uh, the uh, the pitch by the CPU previously. I knew you could get substituted by requesting a substitution, from the uh, you know pause menu or by being injured and taken off that way but I never knew that you were able to get substituted if your stamina was too low or if you were playing horribly as well and apparently you can so or could previously in other titles so I apologize for that but today we'll be having uh, two games we can advance all the way up to uh, the first game of the season against Brentford and then hopefully we'll be selected for the game against Barnet as well. If not, we'll play Charlton. In between now and then though, there are going to be the opportunity or there is going to be the opportunity for four training sessions. Now, a few of you have asked me to uh, show you the training and uh, to, be, to be able to have two games per episode, I'm going to have to simulate the training or not show you the training. Otherwise, videos are going to be 30, 40 minutes long. And that's just not the sort of length that uh, I'm going to need for videos. So I am going to continue to sim the training. Unless every now and then you would like to see a training only episode. If we get like a big break like this. But that's not really that entertaining, I don't think. Or maybe perhaps... One, every now and again, you might like to see an episode where we play one game and I show you me going through the training drills. Let me know in the comment section what your feedback is with that particular uh, with that particular idea. But for now, I'm just going to do the training in the background. I'll show you a screenshot or show you, uh, just quickly discuss how I get on in each one whilst as we're backing out of it once it's finished. But I'm not going to show you the individual drills because I just don't have time. I want to make sure the videos are kind of around about 20 minutes at most. So uh, I'm going to stop waffling now in the beginning of this one. So as we head towards the uh, the next thing. So I'm going to jump in the train. If you enjoy the episode, then make sure you hit the like button. Obviously, subscribe if you haven't already. We hit 90,000 subscribers yesterday, which is absolutely fantastic. Thank you for the support on the channel so far. We've been growing like absolute wildfire the past few days. And fingers crossed that will continue. And who knows how quickly 100,000 subscribers will come along. But for now, I'll jump into uh, the... Well, I'll cut now to the action from uh, the Brentford game. Including a couple of uh, quick screenshots of how I get on in training. Alright, week one. We've gotten an A on the dribbling, an A on through balls, F on charge creation, F on assisted free kicks and a C on tackling. In this particular first week, my vision has gone up by one thanks to the through ball training. Week two, we've gotten a B on dribbling, a B on El Rondo, which is a passing drill, a D on close range finishing, F on El Rondo, which is, a, again, the same passing drill, and a D on assisted free kicks. We have actually gone up overall, though, from 67 to 68 in this second week of training. Simulating again, and as you can see, attack positioning has gone up one from 63 to 64. We've gotten Ds and Cs throughout, though, and an F on the track on the tackling, unfortunately. Got a message from the manager that says he wants to send me out on loan. I don't want to go out on loan. I want to stay here at Middlesbrough. So I'm going to not accept any loan offers that come in. I want to be first team here at championship level. So I'm going to reject that. We're just going to go through and select some more drills. And we'll keep this highlight going for now. Uh, tributes trained there. So we'll do the tackling one again. Hopefully get better than an F this time. Passing or we'll sim the hard one. Uh, oh. I don't want to do that. Go back. Uh, on the fourth drill, we'll do shooting. Um, we can get shot power up by one if we do that one. We can get finishing and shot power up by one if we can do well in the sharp shooting one. And then I'm probably going to have to do set pieces as well. We can get long shots and shot power up by one. Or free kick accuracy up by one if we can do well in that one. Okay, so we will simulate all again. I don't want to go out on loan though. I want to stay here at Riddlesbrough. I... Uh, did we do well? Yeah, shot power's gone up one, long shots by one, and free kick accuracy by one, so that's good. 
Uh, we're on our way towards being 69 rated as well without paying it, playing a game at the minute. So we could have... We've had a loan offer now. We could have gone up two ratings already. I'm not going to be able to do any more training sessions though. So this is going to take us into this game against Brentford. Uh, I'm just going to quickly see who that loan offer is from. I don't want to go out on loan. It's really weird. When I was on the, uh, the beta, I didn't get sent out on loan when I was at Middlesbrough. And they kept me here. I'm going to reject the offer to go to Middlesbrough. And hopefully it will be selected for this game against Brentford. I haven't been though. Stuart Downing has been selected. Okay, well, let me know in the comment section down below then. Should I go out on loan? I don't really want to. I'd prefer to just stay here, but oh wow. Stuart Downing comes in for me and scores a hat trick. Ah, <sighs> that was... <laughs> That's not what we wanted. Amarebieta has been injured for five weeks with an injury to his foot. Unfortunately, are we going to be selected for this game against Barnet? Though we have been selected for the game against Barnet. We've had a loan offer from Coventry, which is League One. Coventry are League One. What formation to Coventry play, though? I'm not sure. So uh, let's actually have a look. Will we have a look at team stats? Uh, where are Coventry? We'll see what sort of starting lineup they play. I don't know whether I can actually tell from this screen. What sort of starting lineup they play? I can't, but we will be able to see what sort of competition we'll face for a first team spot. And uh, there's only one other cam, it's Ruben Lemaire, so I'm not sure what he's rated at, but he's only 20 years of age, so another youngster. I don't know what Coventry's uh, starting formation is, though, so I don't know whether that would be a good move for us or not. So let me know in the comments section whether we should go out on loan, and if you do think I should go out on loan, whether I should accept that offer from Coventry and go there. But for now, we'll play this game against Barnet. Probably only going to be the one game today then, so as we uh, make that decision about going out on loan. So let me know in the comments section what you think I should do. Oh, I'd like to stay here and play first team football at, at uh, Middlesbrough, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. It's a shame because, like I say, I uh, played a few games on the beta just to test whether I could get first team football or not. And I was able to get first team football at Middlesbrough, but uh, we did say we were going to knock it down to professional just to see if we can actually get some more entertaining gameplay on my player as well. So I'll play as me and we'll play here against Barnet. And fingers crossed we can get progression through in the cup. Maybe force our way into the first team with a good performance, although... Stuart Downing getting a hat-trick in the previous game isn't necessarily going to help our chances, but we'll do our best. Adoma into me. I want you to make me a run there, for sure, and he has finally. That ball wasn't meant for him, but it is going to find a teammate. It's gone to reach on this left-hand side. There's a great cross. We could be in immediately. We're not, but that's a good knockdown. Here's Clayton. Draws it to full shore again. I'm just going to drop on the edge of the box. Halliday has drilled it. or oh, We've gotten it to Insue. Or Get it through the gap to Halliday again. Out wide to Suwani. I'm going to drop deep again. Look for perhaps a ball through on the edge of the box. It's not going to happen. Halliday drills into the middle though. Keeper comes and punches again. Worked wide. There's a shot. I was going to call for that. But we are going to score anyway. What a header from Adam Clayton or Max Clayton. I don't know which one it is. But a goal for Middlesbrough. What a header. Was that a, a shot from the man in the middle? Was that... A genuine cross. I've no idea. I think it was a shanked shot. It at least looked like a shanked shot, but a brilliant ball in the end to Clayton and what a header. After just two or three minutes, Middlesbrough won, Barnet nil. Here's Halliday. I'm going to call for a through ball and he's going to play me in. I've not got many options here. I'm just going to force a run down the side and then we'll try and turn inside. That's worked well. I see the man in the middle. We've got it into Halliday. Can we get an assist? We can! Our first assist as a professional footballer. We needed a performance here to get ourselves potentially in shape for a first team spot and well we're doing well so far involved in the first move getting an assist for the second goal it's Middlesbrough 2 Barnet nil after just 10 minutes Adoma looks for Clayton in the middle or is that Halliday I'm not sure number 42 comes Gambin down the left for Barnet turns inside and drills it towards Johnson Johnson into Akinde, Akinde to Weston, off the bar. Can he get there still? He's dropping free. I don't know what Emiliano and Sue was trying to do there, flick it over his shoulder, Burkamp style. Barnett hit the bar after just 15 minutes. What a ridiculously entertaining start to the game this has been. Mental stuff so far. I don't know what sort of touch that was from Stevens, and Barnett could be in again. It seems changing it down to professional has really livened up this My Player series. Wowzers, what a game so far. If they get across in here, they could still have another chance. Chance is Gavin Hoyt on the ball. Is he going to turn inside? He's tried the cross, it's blocked, but it's come to Togwell. I'll try and close it down. I can't get there. Weston into Akinde around the corner to Gambian around the outside. The ball comes in the header from the man in the middle. Not enough on it. Is that going to be a corner? I think it is. Barnett with the chance still to get one back. This has been a crazy game so far. 
Lufting it out wide to Togwell here on the edge of the box. I try and put pressure on him. I can't get the ball back. And Gala into the middle. Akinde with a header. Finally it drops. And it is now safe thanks to a save from Dimi. Mental opening 20 minutes here. Stuani into Halliday. Into Clayton. I'll call for this. And he'll give it to me. And I'll lay it out wide to Adoma. I make the run down the line. Adoma won't play me. And Sue might. And Sue has done. Is Adoma going to make me a decent run? I'm driving into the box. I'm going to have the shot. It's dropped to Stuani. Get up, Tez. Get up, Tez. There we go. Stuani gives it away. But we'll re retrieve the ball. We'll lay it into a teammate. There's Adoma. Is he going to give it to me again? No, he's gone back to Clayton. To Adoma. I'll call for it here. We'll lay it across to Stuani. Stuani will probably use Halliday. And has done. I'm in a bit of space here. But... There's a lot of people in and around the edge of the box here. Barnett have gone very defensive. As you can see, it's so hard to find a spare five yards. I'll try to lay that across first time towards Stuani. Unfortunately, it's been given straight to a defender. At the beginning of this second half, Barnett have dropped very, very deep. Oh, if I'd have just been able to change direction quicker there, we could have been in as well. But for now, we stay at 2-0. Barnett being very, very defence-minded. You can see, even though they're on their way towards our box, there's still two men deep in their own half. They definitely don't want to commit too many bodies forward, but we are going to be able to uh, hopefully maintain a clean sheet and, fingers crossed, maybe even get another goal as well because Barnet attack-wise, haven't been that good. Defensively, there are less gaps now than there were, but they may, they may still be a gap here or there to try and exploit. They're going to pick up a corner here, the corner here though, Brighton. Brighton, what am I even talking about? Barnet, as uh, they get the chance to try and pull one back. We're on defensive duty here towards the near post, but the man I was marking has disappeared. The cross comes in, keepers come and punched it clear. They are going to work another chance though. Togwell, where's he going? Forced wide by the defender into Vilhet. Cross comes in, Togwell can't quite get it under control first time. I'm going to drop to uh, try and mark Togwell here. I'll try and stop him from turning inside. We have done. Forced him backwards. Well, Johnson into Adoma, who's tackled the defender. There we go, Stuani. Uh, I am running low on stamina. Oh, I was about to call for that. He's gone backwards. Never mind. Clayton has found me. We'll ping it across towards the left back just to keep possession. Obviously, that will go towards our long pass accomplishments as well. For some reason, I keep losing, keep losing match rating because of positioning. It's been really, really harsh when it comes to positioning. And uh, I just I was up at 7.5 earlier on in the game, and uh, it just keeps docking me points for being out of position, even though I don't have any arrows telling me to be somewhere else on the pitch. So <laughs> overall match rating might be quite difficult to come by in this camp position, but there's a chance. We could make it 3-0. No, Ledbitter misses the opportunity. 25 minutes left to go, still 2-0. Play this through looking for Stuani. He's in behind. He's not got the fastest of legs and he's had the shot and he's drilled it just wide. That chance kind of came out of nowhere. They played it into the midfield and they gave the ball straight to us and then it was fed to me and we tried to play in Stuani there but he's just snapped at the shot and wasn't the best of strikes and we stay at 2 0 with just under 20 minutes to go now. Here's Ledbitter. He's drilled it nicely to Stuani, whose first time hit it out wide towards reach. I'm going to drop back here. I was going to look for the ball. It might still go in. No, it's gone wide. It's going to be a corner. I was just going to drop off the defender to try and open myself up for some space to perhaps try and side foot it into the back of the net. It's going to be the corner to come in. They brought on Kevin Lisby. It's not headed my way, and the keeper's going to claim that comfortably. That's a disappointing corner. You see what I mean, though? Immediately, it's told me to be 25, 30 yards away with my positioning. There's nothing I can do there to try and keep my rating up. But never mind, we'll lay this up wide to a domer. I've done well there to... Uh... Oh, no. We did well to get back into position and then play the ball back to a teammate. McLean wins the header. Barnett come away with possession. I'm just going to keep hold of the LB button to hold myself in position. Last year when I was a striker I didn't need to do so but I think now that we're in a midfield role I'm going to need the CPU to help me stay in the uh, in the right position. I'm just See again I'm holding LB and it gave me one, one little arrow and immediately knocked me down by 0.1 on the rating. It's uh, unfair but never mind. It's just part and parcel of the game and we'll have to take it on the chin and try and get other uh, ways to get our match rating back up by making passes, by putting in tackles, by hopefully creating chances as well. But for now, as they shoot wide, still 2-0 and it looks like we're headed through to the next round of the Capital One Cup as Kike comes on for Stuani. 
Lisby's giving it straight to me. I'll give it to Kike. I want to make the run around the outside of him. Kike could play me in. He has done. Chance to score our first goal as a Middlesbrough player. And we have done a goal and an assist in what is going to be now a 3-0 victory away from home against Barnet. Our first goal of our career as a central attacking midfielder. Laying it to Kike, returning the pass. We just drove around the outside. Good finish across the goalkeeper into the bottom corner. Really pleased with that. Really pleased with this game as a whole. 3-0 the scoreline now, and that's probably going to be game over sooner rather than later as well, because we were quite deep into stoppage time, I think. So we have a decision to make whether you guys think I should go out on loan or not. We will have another training session in between this game and the next one, but I will... I think I'm going to advance as far as the next league game to see if we get selected for another league game or for a league game after this good performance here against Barnet. My guy's rolling around a lot, grabbing his foot. Hopefully that doesn't mean he's injured, but we are coming away with the 3-0 victory. A goal and an assist was a very, very good performance from us. We got a 7.6 rating overall, getting some accomplishments here, left, right and centre for travelling 3,500 yards in a match. Really pleased with how that game went, actually. Very, very pleased indeed. We'll have a quick training session. I'll just quickly load the previous session and then uh, sim it so that we can get to this next game sooner rather than later to find out whether we have been selected for the next league game because I'm not sure whether to, uh, whether to try and fight for my place here at Middlesbrough or whether to go out on loan or see what you guys say as well, actually, about going out on loan. Finishing has gone up one there. Curve has gone up one as well, which will help. Uh, we'll just drop back quickly and I'll advance as far as the Charlton game. We'll see if we've been selected. If we haven't, then we will genuinely have to think about going out on loan, unfortunately. But this next game against Charlton, Stuart Downing scored a hat-trick in the first league game. We scored and got an assist in the cup game, but it hasn't been enough to get us into the starting lineup for the game against Charlton. So you guys will have to let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, I don't even know whether the loan offer from Coventry will still be here. It is. I can still take it if I wish to. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do we go out on loan or do we stay and fight for our place? If we do stay and fight for our place, that's fine. If you do want me to go out on loan, then let me know whether to accept that Coventry offer or wait for another one. It's up to you guys. I will leave it down to you. You have a decision to make. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check the channel page for anything you might have missed over the past few days, whether it be this series, the Wolfsburg Career Mode series, or the Chelsea series. Check all of the social media links in the description down below. Follow me on Twitch where I'll be streaming tonight, and I'll see you next time.